What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Matt Seffi, thank you so much for tuning in. Today I wanted to talk about why I think Adobe Premiere Pro is the best software out there. Let's get it started. Welcome back to the channel guys. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. If you aren't subscribed already, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I have a ton of videos and podcasts and everything coming in the near future, it's gonna be lit. Today it's currently Brick City in New York. The wind's blowing like crazy. If you flew a drone out there, that thing is crashing in five seconds. So starting with number one, I think Adobe Premiere Pro is the best software because of the Creative Cloud suite. The whole suite as a whole and you know the monthly fee for it, that's not great. The way they work together and how everything syncs together between Audition, Premiere, Photoshop, Illustrator, everything just syncs well together, even Lightroom. In my opinion, you can't really beat that. Number two is definitely the fact that Adobe Premiere Pro is kind of getting to the point where it's an industry standard. And I think in the videography realm, it's even more so. I don't know the actual statistics on how many people use it, but I would say that it's definitely taken over and taken off in previous years. Some Even movies are being made on it now, and that's pretty incredible. Avid Media Composer is still the leading movie software, that's for sure. But it's nice that Adobe Premiere Pro is kind of getting to a point where it's an industry standard and you can talk about it with all your friends. It's like, yeah, it's Adobe Premiere Pro. It's like everyone, it's like, it's like the iPhone. Although I'm gonna contradict it in this next reason. Bringing us to reason three. I also love the fact that you can find all the files within the project. It's just a lot easier. I would compare Premiere Pro to an Android while Final Cut is made by Apple, so it's like an iPhone, but I like the way the media browser works and project bins rather than how things are in Final Cut where it's like events and projects. It's kind of weird, I'm not really a fan of that whole aspect of Final Cut. That's pretty much it. I could go on for days on why I think Adobe Premiere Pro friggin' rocks, because it does, except when it freezes, but don't worry. I'm gonna, of course, contradict all these reasons with a whole video on why Adobe Premiere Pro isn't the best, even though I'm using it now and will likely be using it for the foreseeable future. There's, of course, reasons why it's not the best, too. Adobe, you know, at their Max Summit and everything, they're really on top of tech. Like when it comes to Adobe Sensei and all these really advanced features and technology that they have, they're always, you know, kind of pushing it. They're really pushing it. And the way that you can have those updates, you know, whenever they come out with them with the Creative Cloud suite is pretty incomparable if you ask me. So that's pretty much it on why I think Adobe Premiere Pro is currently, I say currently because this industry changes every day, but that's why I think Adobe Premiere Pro is currently the best. Thank you so much for tuning in though. If you got anything out of this video, if you thought it was cool, if you thought it was uncool, either way, even if you think it was uncool, I think you should still hit the like button just cause, well, it's freezing in New York City. So each like warms me up a bit. Thank you. Hit that subscribe button to get videos much like this, but thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and take care.